Well, hello everyone. I hope everybody is fine today. Let me introduce myself. I'm Lazim Muzamil. I come from Universitas Kanjuruhan Malang on behalf of a postgraduate uh, program. I'd like to present my topic today by joining the fifth Asian Education Symposium uh, handled by this university. Well, let me uh, start from uh, my uh, my slide. Let me check my uh, slide first. Okay, here we go. Well, my title of this presentation is a contextual learning method, learning facility and motivation in relation to society, sociology learning outcome. Okay, we actually all together, we have uh, three persons here, Johanna Arbertina Latuni and Lili Sri Haryani and I'm Lasi Muzambil. Right. Um, in this special occasion, I'd like to start from the uh, introduction, first of all. Well, um, I'm going to start from the what actually learning, yeah? Well, here we have, uh, according to Aritonan 2008, learning is process of the effort carried by individual to obtain new behavioral changes as an individual's own experience. Okay, starting from what learning is. And in today's agenda, we are going to discuss about uh, contextual teaching learning, learning facilities, and learning motivation related to the student's learning outcome. Well, um, what about contextual teaching learning? According to Hamdayana, Hamdayama 2014, uh, contextual learning approaches uh, positive influence on student in learning process, especially social studies learning. Uh, the authors like uh, Demyadi and Mujona in 2013 also discuss about contextual teaching learning. And also uh, Surd in 2018 also discuss about uh, contextual teaching learning. What about Nefian et al, 2018? Yeah, Nefian et al, 2013, also discuss about uh, contextual teaching learning. Okay, and the next one is learning facilities, right? Learning facilities, facilities uh, according to Dimyadi and Mugiono, 2013, are facilities and infrastructures owned by schools that support directly and indirectly in the learning process. For that, students' learning facility are expected to, uh, to be adequate and by standards in schools in general. And uh, the researchers like uh, Vijaya 2016 and uh, Lemons 2016 also, and also Ilomo and Mlafi in 2016 discussed the same things about learning facility which affect the student's learning outcome in that case. And then what about motivation? Do you think that motivation is also um, variable that affect the student's learning outcome? Well, let's see from uh, Margianto 2012. Motivation is defined as a process that give encouragement, that give encouragement, directions, and behavior uh, persistence. And while the other authors like uh, Saleh and Saadia in 2018 and Jeffrey and Zen in 2017, uh, SVA Tal 2017 and uh, Riani and uh, Balupingia 2015 also discuss about uh, learning motivation. As we know that motivation derived from our own uh, and also motivation can be affected by the, uh, the, the outside factors so um, I hope that this topic, contextual teaching, learning, learning facilities, and learning motivation can be an uh, interesting topic to discuss, especially when 
it is related to the student's learning of outcome, especially in sociology. Okay, and the next one is about methodology. Okay, the method used in this study, uh, we, are, we are using, uh, what is it? We are, we, we are using um, survey, yeah. And this is quantitative research design. We, we use survey, but before coming to discuss about methodology, I'd like to introduce the uh, research problem we have in that case. What is the problem? Uh, the research problem we propose is there simultaneous effect of contextual learning methods, facilities, and learning modification on the student's sociology learning outcomes of grade 10 SMA Negri 2 Ambon, Indonesia. So in that case, that's a problem. When we talk about the simultaneous effect, we also want to get to know about the uh, uh, partial effect of each variable, like contextual learning method, uh, facilities, and learning motivation on the student sociology learning outcome. Okay, then what's the design of uh, this research? As I told you, before that this we use survey and the survey here is uh, categorized in the quantitative research uh, methodology especially when we are using questionnaire and we uh, analyze this questionnaire using uh, quantitative one we quantify um, the result of questionnaire and the questionnaire we use here using a Likert scale and then, as everyone knows, that Likert scale is studied from uh, from the uh, highest to the lowest, or from the lowest to the highest. So we uh, strongly agree with scale five, uh, to the strongly disagree with scale one. So from the highest to the lowest one, and also we uh, measure or we we are also me measuring the validity and reliability of the uh, result of. Uh, the questionnaire and also the student's learning outcome here. What about the uh, populations and samples? Well, um, the populations is taken from, uh, from uh, the students of uh, grade 10, SM Anagridua Ambon, Indonesia. And you know that uh, we use uh, proportionate stratified random sampling. Uh, as, <clears throat> as we know that uh, there are six classes all together, and the number of the populations is about uh, <clears throat> 210, but we we use these, uh, we, don't, we don't use all the sample because this is uh, stratified. So we are we, uh, using less than 210. Exactly, we use about uh, 139 sample after uh, using the proportion proportionate strat stratified random sampling. And then the next one is that the uh, what analysis we use uh, to to have this <clears throat> research. Well, um, as I told you before that. Uh, if we want to know, if we want to know whether the uh, the variable is <clears throat> valid, I mean the uh, the sample we use is valid or reliable, we use <clears throat> the validity we uh, measure using uh, person product moment, and then <clears throat> while measuring the uh, reliability, we use uh, from but alpha in that case, and. Uh, the uh, linear regression analysis using uh, analysis of variance or ANOVA, what we call this is, uh, using F test here, and uh, T test is also used well, while uh, analysis of variance because we are measuring all together simultaneous effect of uh, contextual learning method, uh, facilities, and learning motivation all together. We want to know the effect about this. So well, we use F test in that case. 
All right, that's the uh, methodology and the procedures of uh, conducting the research and the data analysis. Right, um, based on the result um, of the data analysis using ANOVA, you can see here that um, the predictors, uh, we have motivation, facilities, and context contextual learning. Uh, this is, uh, we usually call this as uh, independent variable while the dependent variable is learning the students learning outcome as we can see uh, from the table here that the six value or we uh, understand is a probability the probability is uh, about a point zero 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 which is less than five percent it means that um, there is significant uh, effect there is an if significant uh, simultaneous significant effect um, of the uh, what is this the, the the students learning outcome from the uh, sociology learning outcome of class or class 10 sm and a group two and bond which is affected by the uh, <clears throat> simultaneous effect of contextual learning uh, facilities and also motivation. Okay, based on this result, it is also in line with Amdayana 2014, which stated that contextual learning approach has a positive influence on the student and uh, the learning process, which is more effective and uh, efficient by the support of adequate learning facilities for students. And also, this, this, the, the results of this study is supported by uh, Dimyati and Mugiono 2013, uh, stating that learning facility uh, should support directly and indirectly in the learning process, and it should be adequate and by the standard in school in general. So this is the result um, and discussions part, and the next one is going to be the last one is going to be the conclusion. Well, um, to conclude <clears throat> that contextual learning method, facility, and motivation can simultaneously influence students' learning outcome. And uh, con contextual learning method can make significant contribution to learning achievement. And therefore, the better the contextual learning method the higher the student's learning outcome based on the evidence. And facilities can make a significant contribution to student achievement, meaning that the higher the student's learning facility, the higher the learning outcomes also. And what about the learning motivations? The learning motivation can make a significant contribution to the student's learning outcome meaning that the higher the student's learning motivation, the higher the learning outcomes do. Uh, here are references here are using and in writing this article. All right, thank you very much for joining or for uh, participating my, <clears throat> my, um, my presentation today. Well, I hope that uh, this topic is going to be very interesting and it is going to be very useful for everyone who have the same interest to investigate a similar topic, uh, especially, uh, what is it, presenting in the uh, international conference. That's all for me. I hope that everyone stay motivated and uh, keep clean and then don't forget to wash your hand every day, use mask and also uh, eat vitamin C <coughs> so that you can stay healthy. Thank you very much. That's all. Uh, goodbye.